welcome back to the Western Wild. So, first things first, we're gonna obviously uh, do this because we do need. Oh, I right, go back one. We do need to get ourselves uh, a place, and I hope I can put the I can put the trailer in between here because that would be a bit of a pain if I didn't go far enough. Okay, sticking to the same thing purely on the basis that we uh, we find that a lot more realistic, or I find that a lot more realistic. I need to stop saying we uh, in keeping the bells like this. So there's the beauty of that. Let's back off a little bit. So this is we have then a place where we can. We do want. I do want it to. Okay, this way we can sort of level it out and see where. Oh, what are you doing? At least this way we get to sort of get an idea. Oh, go back down. Now I know that this is what's going to happen, so therefore we're going to do this. And just want to make sure that it's fine. Beautiful. So we got our straw, we got our hay, and we got our grass. We're just going to have to work on our silage now. Now, um, after my last episode, when we were talking about getting ourselves a silo to be able to put our grain, uh, I am going to do, I'll show you what I was talking about. I am going to get this silo here, this massive silo, right? But we don't have enough money right now to worry about it, so we're not going to bother. Oh. Right. And I am going to put it at the bottom, at the bottom of our field. So at the bottom of our field over there, that's going to be our silo area. I think so far that's that's the plan. And uh, because of that, obviously, we're going to need to get money. So what I did is I have a uh, a silo, which is not really a silo. It looks more like a. Let's see if I oh, no, I don't I don't want to go there. Don't go in there, there. So this is our silo that I got. It's a fairly cheap silo, uh, but it's all right. It's, you know, you got a couple of spaces for vehicles. And uh, so we do have a little bit of storage in them. I put it here because of the way it is. It kind of gives you that idea of the cul-de-sac. Who knows? I may even end up doing so. It's, it's a fairly uh, sort of inexpensive uh, silos I'm looking for. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I may have end up doing something like this, like a, a cold cul de sac type of thing. Uh, it's not really going to work, is it? Because it has to stay like this. Okay, so the idea, oh, it might work like this. And then just use this as a back off. But who knows? We're, we've got our silo, we've got plenty of storage for now in here. We don't need any more storage. Let's park you where you should be parked. Now, our tractors are all up to date. We don't need to worry about tractors anymore. We got plenty of tractors. I haven't even looked. Kind of afraid to look at what's on Mod Hub in the used section, but let's quickly have a look. Oh, wow. Now, as you all know, I just bought 10 meters, $15,000. Um, I think we can use bigger than, than 10 meters. 
9 meters, 10.6. It's got 87,000. 9, 10. So I was kind of hoping that I could do something like this. Does it have, in case I had, oh, I can do John Deere. So I may end up getting something like this because of the size of our fields. You know what? Let's just buy it. We do, oh no, don't buy it yet. Because we do want to put it a bit bigger then. Yeah, that's about right. 15, uh, 15 kilometers per hour is fine. Okay. So now we down to $91,000 after selling all our crop. But let's have a look at something. Because I have done this before and it's too heavy for for the combine and it does cannot handle it. So if this is the case, we may need to get rid of it and go back to the 10. Yep, I think we're going to find that it's too heavy. Okay, let's unpack that. No, it seems to be okay. So, hopefully, that means that it would be okay. Okay, you can sit here for now. It's fine. We got no problems with that. There you are. So now we're going to be taking care of our mulching. Yep. I was just uh, trying to see if it needs it, and it does need it, obviously. So what, uh, where are we? Oh. It does need lime as well, which we're going to do. And plowed. Cultivated. Ready to harvest. We did. That's strange. Don't we have seed bed? what is that color mulched there we are don't worry about it i knew i had that i haven't done mulch for such a long time that i completely forgot where it was and i kept thinking why doesn't it show mulch so 28 kilometers per hour that's pretty cool so at the bottom of this field where i'm planning at the moment to have uh, that big silo when we have the money uh, Obviously, until we have one and a half, 1.6, 1.7 million dollars, uh, it's going to be quite a bit of time. So we're not going to bother for now. But that's where roughly we're going to be as far as uh, as far as uh, putting our massive silo. And obviously, we're going to create a feature of it. Now, one thing is with this map, we do have quite a lot of space. So I may completely change my mind and put it somewhere else. But the reason that I like the idea of it being there is that it's close to the train station per se and um, obviously a lot of our sales are going to be uh, next to the train station so because of that um, yeah because of that it's probably the the best place uh, i haven't done the roads yet i have done the roads up to this field and the reason that i didn't do the roads is because as i was st uh, starting to do the roads i'm not sure what happened but um it just, um, I couldn't do the roads anymore. The painting disappeared off the menu, so I couldn't really do anything anymore. It kind of like froze, but the game didn't freeze. So I could still play the game. I could still go do everything else. I just couldn't paint anymore. So I don't know what uh, what happened. So I stopped. And uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't think you wanna sit here and see me, uh, you know, do the mulching, uh, do the painting of roads on this on this map. I mean, after all, it is a humongous area for me to do so. 
Okay, so here we go. Mulching. Now, as much as this is a decent sized mulcher with these fields, obviously it's not. Um, it's unbelievable that we got these 10 point. Does it have color design standard? Oh. Oh, this is so appealing. Believe it or not, it is so appealing to just get it. But don't I have headers here? 12 meters, 12 meters. I thought I had some of the ones that were you know, I have one that was like massive, 10.8, 9.2, 9.2. Are these the ones that, no. Oh, this is the 60 foot. Yeah, but we don't have the combine for that yet, so we're not even going to bother with that. Are these the ones that uh, standard? Yeah, this is the ones. The only downside for me is that they don't have. Uh, still 20 kilometers. That one's a little bit faster. 64 FD, 74 FD. Okay, what changes? Okay, it's just over here that changes. Hmm. Yeah, I think once we get into a bigger, like the X9, we're gonna look at some of these. I think this is one that's on special then, no. Anyway, we're, we're kind of just uh, dreaming at the moment the combine that we have and the header that we have is good I like the fact that it's sitting on its own wheels and it can be carted around And that's one of the things that I don't like about the other ones Again with this kind of map. I don't think it makes that big of a difference if it really bothers me You know I may end up buying the other one uh, But for now it's fine Buy the other one and just put it on the combine all right, let's do a bit of a time lapse of this, and I'll see you when it's done. Since we do have to put lime on the, on that field, and this is the road that I was saying that I did build, and obviously I did change uh, our exit out of the out of our yard. So this is the road that I was able to build, and uh, it stops over there where it kind of wouldn't allow me to do anything anymore. I thought since we do have to put lime in it, and since we do have to wait for the mulch, I can't believe I didn't think about this quicker or earlier. Um, you know, for uh, for uh, me to put lime onto the field while we're waiting for uh, yeah for the mulcher to finish. So I'm gonna try and do something. I haven't I've never done this. I know it can be done, obviously, uh, but I've never actually done this to the point of setting up just. Uh, no headlands so just up and down okay close start job get rid of that there you are and there, we, there we are we got course play this is the first time ever as far as I remember that I've ever used course play just straight up and down like you would with a normal worker all right, so this way we'll get, because uh, we do have to put 
we do have to put a uh, lime onto this field and we went one too many no we did not mulched there you are so that way we get to put lime onto the field as well all right get out of there so it looks like the mulch is just about done and the fact that it's even though it's fairly s small compared to the size of the field because of the speed that it goes at 27 20 kilometers an hour it goes fairly quickly and i just realized that i've got the speed at one i don't need the speed at one anymore we do need the time to go and we don't, i don't think we should be fine to not have the speed at one all the ever because we do have two combines and we do have two days which i forgot when i kind of panicked a little bit i thought oh i need to change it to one forgot that i had the i am running on two days per season not one day per season so mulching almost done lime is being applied to the field so we're doing it and we're ready to uh, plant something on it. I haven't really decided what we're going to plant on it. Uh, we can plant, I'm sure, canola pretty quick, pretty soon while we're harvesting. So you can see how slow I've been because I've got two days for month of June, two days for month of July. So I can harvest uh, canola next day, which is at two fields. But I wonder if my other field down here is ready to harvest. Yes, it is. So I am going to bring the combine, that, the John Deere combine down here and see how that operates. I will see you there. Okay, even though it says here, no, it does not. Uh, rookie mistake, last stage of growth. I cannot believe that I looked at the wrong thing on the map. But anyway, we've got the combine down here. So we're just going to wait for it to do its work when it's necessary. What I've done, I'm, I've gone around and cleaned up. Let's close it up. And just get this done as well. And that way we don't have it. I've um, gone around the field and cleaned up field uh, trees like this one. Purely because I know what's going to happen is we're going to have a combine get stuck on the trees that are too close to the edge of the field. So in the interest of not having that problem, I cleaned up some of the trees that I thought were too close. I mean, there's already too many trees on the map anyway. So at the end of the day, we're doing a, a service to ourselves. How did I miss this one over here? Okay, well, hopefully there is none that will cause us any issues. Now this gentleman here has finished work. So we're gonna pack him away and wait for the lime. Lime is being applied. And we're gonna drive this home. And hopefully, why don't I put the time a bit quicker because, okay, wrong tractor. Let's run it a little bit quicker. After all, we don't really need to be here. Uh, we got nothing to do until we're ready to harvest our field down uh, field uh, at the south of the map uh, and obviously then we will need to mulch as well so this is why we will leave this tractor connected as a real life farm would leave them connected to this it seems to be a bit of a pain to connect and disconnect so we will park him over here for now next to our silo okay so we 
did spend a little bit of money. We got something in the used vehicle section and that's something that I, again, I don't ever use. Even though I've had these mods, I believe, in FS19 as well and 17 as well. And I've always gotten and deleted them after I got sick and tired of seeing them in the folder and never actually used them. It is a trailer, but it's a trailer that... Uh, I'll show you. I'm not quite sure what they're called, to be honest. Those type of trailers. It's a Joskin trailer. But I've never used those that you can detach them. I just realized that, you know, with this one, you do. This one is a manure spreader. And it can also spread lime. So that's the reason that I got it, to be honest. To be um, the fact that it can do manure and lime. Now, I've not really used a lot of manure. Again, it's manure is not something that I've. I'm trying to think, and uh, I use manure, obviously. Um, one thing that I don't remember ever using is uh, the liquid manure. Uh, I'm not saying that I've never done it, but in all the FSs that I played from 15 upwards, I don't ever remember ever using um, a liquid manure at all. Um, I've always found it annoying that it uh, it takes so much effort to um, load and unload, load and unload, load and unload. So because of that, I've never used it. Then uh, it's um, it's one of the reasons why again I don't use manure either because it is such a pain to load it and unload it and load it and unload it. So um, it, it's something that sort of kept me away from it for that reason alone. Now, uh, I am going to use this, even um, uh, in this map, we're going to look even at the liquid manure uh, to use it, but obviously to be able to use liquid manure, we need to first have one, liquid manure, two cows, two, oh, no, no, no. no. Okay, that's better. So this one can do lime as well, and the fact that it can do lime as well, uh, that's the reason that I bought I think, you know what, next time we need to use, uh, to do lime, we can just fill this one up with lime. Uh, is this filled? Let's have a look. I'm going to trial it now and see what happens. Is this filled at all? Okay, we're still waiting for this field to be done. Okay, so it's got no... Uh, no fertilization at all so can i buy manure from that sellable place over there let's have a look now i know i can buy lime from here but i don't want lime i want manure lime oh yes i can well there you are we're going to be applying manure to that field 30,000 liters. Might as well. There you go. will be a first for us. What is it? 20 meters, I believe. It's the width that it goes to. And uh, we'll see how quickly it runs through it. Now, as we just saw, 30,000 liters of manure was very cheap. The only thing that's going to be a bit painful is driving back and forth to fill it up trying to think if you would actually go manure over uh, over line I don't think it should be a problem should it okay, let's slow down here let's put it on cruise control uh, cruise control course play oops go back one Go back there. Open 20 meters. Number of headlines none. Generate. Close. Start job. Out. First point. Oh, it's starting to do it from there. So he's just utilizing my manure for no reason. Yes, he does. He just goes back to taking the lime off. Does it? actually show on the field as anything yes it does all right so here we go
still applying the manure? I will come back when it's all done. I don't think you want me to sit here and show you all this while, uh, while we're doing this. So we'll see you when it's all finished. All right, so we're done with manure. I can do a little bit more on the side over here, but we're not going to bother with that. Um, looks like we're just about going to be done with it. Does it have the... No, don't worry about it. We're not going to bother with that little bit over there. <laughs> Alright, so well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the little bit that we have, obviously. Just for the fun of getting rid of it. And that's it. Time to go to bed. And when we wake up in the morning... Hopefully, we'll be able to start harvesting. I just realized that, again, this is what happens when you don't read the information in front of you properly, that uh, uh, canola and wheat are both uh, in July. They both are harvestable in July. So I kept waiting for the other field to be ready. It's going to be ready at the same time as this feed uh, the canola fields over here as well so that's going to be a lot of fun so obviously what we're going to do is we're going to swap combines around we're going to take the smaller combine to the wheat field um, and uh, bring the bigger combine to the canola because there's a lot more of it here so that way we should again we're going to be just carting things around oh there we are get out of the way All right, so let's put them in the let's park them in and then we are ready to go to bed. Nope, oh, wrong one. So let's just park the tractor over here and that way so there's a little lights all over the fence over here. Close the gate and wake up in the morning. Okay, so there we are. Canola ready. Needs lime, needs. Oh, don't even tell me that. Okay, oh. So this is just a planter. Uh, what do we have? Uh, nine meters? I've never used this one. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out, that's for sure. We do need a planter because I do want to plant uh, especially corn and sunflower. So I'm not quite sure about some of the other stuff, but we are there. Oh, let's, let's get rid of this 30 times. Where are we? Oh, no, no, here. Okay, I'll get everything set up for harvesting, and then we'll see you there.